Hey gardeners, I am here in the high tunnel at Serendipity Farm in Campton, New Hampshire. And I wanted to do a video on taking care of your tomato plants. Here in the Northeast, we have a pretty short growing season, even in a high tunnel, but more importantly, if you're growing your tomatoes outdoors, is to really work hard to maintain good health for the tomatoes. Um, rule number one is no bad leaves. So any leaf that is crinkling, turning black, having signs of bugs on there, just um, ideally you would snip those out using a pair of um, sharp scissors or gardening shears. And between each plant, you want to wipe those down with some kind of disinfectant um, spray, put on a towel. I'll um, put in the notes some, some options of uh, what good dis and gardening disinfectant options are. Uh, yeah, okay, so um, no bad leaves. So cutting out all of the bad leaves. Next is toss it between training your plants and getting the suckers out. And they kind of go hand in hand. So I'm gonna show um, what we have going on here in this high tunnel. These plastic clamps are one of my favorite ways to train tomatoes, whether it's in a greenhouse or out in the field. Um, they, um, right here, you pinch um, the twine into that spot so it keeps it from sliding around. And then it's a nice loose ring around the tomato and they are reusable, so these are fantastic. And here, this string goes up to a hook that's on a wire going across and a bunch of lines coming down to the tomatoes. You could also do this, have, you could set up posts on either end of your row of tomatoes and have string going um, horizontal and then vertical. And the idea here is to give support to your tomatoes. So this is one way to train them. The next thing I want to talk about is um, helping to prune your tomatoes to have harvest that actually happens within our growing season and also kind of helps contain the tomato plants that are of indeterminate variety. So if you look here between these main branches there's this one right here and these are called suckers to be kind of crude and to help um, give a visual I call them tomato armpit hairs and we want to pluck those right on out of there. So here's a plant that has a bunch that we can pinch out. So here we have the main branches and this is like the armpit of the plant. This is pretty thin so I can just go in with my fingernails and just pinch that off. I'm not leaving much of a stubble. Here's another one. I'm just going to pinch that off in there. And if you try to pinch it off and it doesn't come off, go ahead and pause and get some snippers. Here we have some blossoms. And again, the two main branches, right, right here and right here. I'm gonna pinch that one out, go nice and in. And just kind of clip it with my fingernail and go around and do all the branches. On this plant here, we have a sucker that got pretty long and thick and it's too thick for me to easily pinch out with my fingernails. So I'm going to come in with my scissors and give it a little snip. And you can leave a little bit. That's maybe a little too much. It's hard to do one-handed. Um, and you want to do it at a little bit of an angle. Get that out of there. At a little bit of an angle so any water doesn't pool and collect there and cause infection. Another consideration for happy, healthy tomatoes is air circulation. So here is one tomato plant. It has this branch here and this whole series of branches in here. And they're just getting some leaf curl and has this whole other branch going on over here. So we want to train all of it to grow upright and we want to create good air circulation in here. So here is the before shot of it.
Mulching is another important part for good tomato health. So here we lay down some newspaper and then some straw on top of that. Leaf curl on a plant like this can mean any number of different things. Usually a pest, some kind of sucking insect. You don't see anything just yet. It can also be a sign of drought stress. So I'm gonna look around on this plant and see if I see anything and I might go ahead and cut out. I'm definitely gonna cut out the leaves that have these spots on there. So I will go follow that leaf all the way back up to it's where it meets the stem. Give it a nice clean at an angle cut. Here is a good example of what tomato leaves start to look like when the plant is suffering from some nefarious intruder. It's hard to know exactly which what's going on here. Uh, but the best thing you can do for the plant is to get rid of these leaves. Um, and if you maybe haven't been diligent about cleaning between each plant, if you come to a plant that has leaves that look like this, absolutely, matter-of-factly, clean your tools before going to a next plant. This could be, you know, just this leaf got sunburned, or it could be um, some kind of disease or virus on the plant. And it's always better to use when raising tomatoes. You want to be sure to absolutely not put this leaf in your compost pile. These are a plant that are prone to so many different diseases and pests. A lot of them that are soil borne and systemic. So it's that's why it's important to clean your tool between each plant that you cut on. And then with everything that you snip out, I either just throw the clippings away in the garbage or feed to chickens or goats if you happen to have them where you are farming or gardening. Um, you definitely don't want to put them in the compost pile because then you can be adding um, those pathogens to your compost. So tomatoes are a plant that I don't compost any parts of it. Alright, happy tomato growing!